Hi, I'm Dave Edwards with another segment showing you how you can combine the principles of GTD, getting things done, and the power of Evernote. Now, one of the questions I've gotten since I started demonstrating the system that I created is where and how I keep client notes or meeting notes. Let me show you. First of all, let me just do a quick little review here of uh, some of my basics of my system. Um, as you can see, I have the you know standard things, inbox, I have a notebook stack for hobbies, for home, for reference, for tasks. And uh, important to us today is the stack of notebooks uh, for work. Now, I have a, a number of items in here that are related to things that I, in my job, uh, I am responsible for. So, uh, you know, I'm responsible for the overall budget of our organization, goals for the organizations. I directly supervise human resources. Uh, that means I have to have all of the job descriptions in one place. I also um, have uh, the marketing department reporting to me. And in this case, I have my own project. So I have notebooks in the work stack related to all the things that I have to do. But I also have clients, and this is key to our discussion today. For every client that I have, that I work with, I create a notebook and put it into my work stack. Uh, so this is a client A, our imaginary client. And the first thing I do uh, for every client is the very first note I put in there is um, something that I will put, I will start with a star, and then I will put a uh, project summary. Um, the, the reason for the star, of course, is that this note will always stay on the top of my sort in my client notebook. Um, and in this project summary, there's a number of things that I want to do. I want to have the name of the contact uh, that I have with that company, uh, that person's phone number, email, uh, do they have an assistant, uh, is the snail mail important, things that I need to know uh, in order to work with this client on a regular basis. Again, it's the top note in my notebook and it always jumps out at the top. So typically what I will do then is I will just put a quick separator in there and that's sufficient. Now what I do is I keep kind of a running notes uh, uh, feature on this. So if you and I have a uh, conversation or if I do something uh, for, the, uh, for the client, uh, I, will, uh, I will record it um, in this project summary note. So I'll always put the date and then I'll put a, uh, a summary of the conversation. Uh, told client, so the first thing I did was I, you know, in our conversation today, I told you that I will sign our, uh, our agreement uh, today. So now uh, I have this. So if I, if I have to uh, quick summarize for the client what we're doing, I can call up this note. I could also share this note with the client. In fact, this is something that I love to do with my active clients. Um, you know, the, these are the people who I'm working on. Uh, uh, you know, we have an ongoing relationship. I've noticed that the majority of the phone calls I get from my clients are not asking me questions about the project. They want to know what's the status of the project. And so what I try to do is once a week, uh, I try to send them a project summary. And, uh, you know, you could do this very simple by, by sharing this. Um, here is a link uh, that you can share with your client and they will have access to that note. What you want to do is you want to enable the sharing link. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you can either send it to them directly or what I tend to do is I tend to copy the link and then put that in an email that I send to the client. So I can say, hey, have a great weekend, all this kind of stuff. If you want to see where we are with the project, open this link and then they will get to that. So now, uh, let's say the client uh, uh, has sent me the contract that we have to uh, uh, sign. And so what I want to do is I will create a new note and I have a dating system that seems to work for me or a titling system that seems to work for me, which is um, the year followed by the day, uh, month followed by the day, a space mark, 
and then the name of whatever's in this note. All right, so now all I have to do is add the document to uh, this uh, to this note. So here we go. I'm just going to pop this one in here. And so now I have this signed agreement uh, in here. And uh, I can then create a link from this document. And then I can come over here and I can pop that link into the project summary note. So anytime I have documents related to this project, it is put in the notebook with this naming system. And in most cases, I will create a link from each one of these documents and put it into my project summary. My productivity system relies on GTD and Evernote. It's simple and it works. I teach the system in an online course called Getting Things Done with Evernote. Check it out at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Click on Courses. And if you have any ideas for future segments, post your ideas below. Would love to hear from you. I'm Dave Edwards.